Humanizing Technologies. Hello and welcome to the Pepper Navigation Tutorial. First of all, the, the navigation works only for Android Peppers. That means if you have a Python robot, unfortunately the navigation doesn't work at the moment. But don't be upset. You can now think about migrating your Python robot to an Android version. If you have an Android version, then there are two different kind of Android robots out there. First of all, the migrated ones from Python to Android, which have two holes in the back, whereas the new versions of the robot have four holes here in the back. So if you have a new version for the robot, there are a little bit more functionalities and it is slightly different to the uh, older ones, but the navigation works also on the micro migrated Android robots. So, to begin with, you would need to download the two softwares which are necessary for the navigation. First of all, of course, the updated version of the RMS and secondly, the map and localize application, which you can see here. It is a purple symbol and when you click on it, the mapping tool starts. So you would need to map the room first to use those mapped locations, those uh, created locations in our software. And we do this for now. So the first part of this video is how we set up this map and how we localize the robot. Therefore, we start the application, then we go to setup mode here on the left side. Please close my hatch and start the action you want. Then we localize and map. Therefore, we need to close the hatch, as the robot said. And then we click on localize and map and go far Please stay away, away during initial mapping. About three meters. Now the robot is taking pictures from its surrounding. And then it will be able to find its starting position, the so-called home base. Now it is done. We can stop and save this now. So our first location is set up, it is the home base. Now from here on we could now add new locations by clicking on the left side from your side, from you it's the right side, save locations. Uh, we do so, if we click on the left side again, it says localize and map, then the old map would be overwritten and the new home position would be saved. But as we have already a home position, we skip this and go to save locations. There are three locations already. We delete the previous ones. Okay. And now we save new locations. Therefore we click on add location. And now we need to find the home or the robot needs to find its home position again. It's asking, am I at home? Or here it's written, you are home. And if we confirm, we need to step back again and the robot tries to find its home position or finds, as, tries to see if it is at the home position. Let's see. Please stay away from me while I localize myself. Okay, this was quick. Now we can move the robot to another position. 
Um, to begin with, I'd like to save this um, home base as its home position and give it a name. Therefore, I cl just click on stop and save and type in here home. Okay, and save. So my first position is saved. I go on to the next one. Here's a differentiation between the old robot, the migrated one from Python to Android, and the new one which is here at my side. The new robot has the possibility to go from one position to the next one and save it or from one location to the next one and save one by one. The old version would need to go back to its home position after saving one or another location. So in the new version it is for example saving home, saving A, saving B, saving C and the old version would be bringing the robot home, save home, then go to A, save A, go back to home and localize itself go to the next position, save the next position, and so on. We try now the new version, the, the one by one. So I check mark this, click on add location, let the robot localize itself again. Please stay away from me while I localize myself. Okay, and now I can move the robot around. Therefore, I open the hatch at the back. Then we drive the robot inside the room. For example, here. Now I click on stop and save. Give it a name. For now I call it host A for position A. Those names which you give here uh, to the positions, to the locations, you need to notify it to keep in mind because you will need those positions afterwards in our software as well. There you can use those positions to let the robot drive to one or another location. Okay. Now from here we can Go on, open the hatch, let the robot or move the robot to another position like here and save this again. Save this as position B. Okay. And that's it for now. So now we have three positions, home, position A and position B. I move the robot back to its home position. Now you could see it better. And I save now the locations by clicking on save location. Then they are saved and I can go back. So now we created a map for the robot with the two outer positions and the home base. And now we want to see if those positions work. Therefore I go back and here we have the setup mode which we used right now and we have the production mode on the other side. And in the production mode, I can test now the locations and the navigation if it's working. Here I need to localize the robot first, as we did before. Therefore, I close the hatch again, click on the symbol, Please stay away from me while I localize myself. and stay back. Perfect, the robot already found its home position. So I can go let it go to frame A for example now. Let's go to Posa. Great. 
great. This worked fine. So from here on, I let it go to position B. Let's go to pause. It has arrived at position B, and last but not least, we let it go to our own position. And here we go. You saw that the robot stopped when it was too close to the obstacle, in this case the table, which you cannot see right now, but it is here on the uh, right underneath you. And therefore it stopped a little bit and then went ahead. So our positions are saved and they are working. We continue with part two in the next video. Humanizing Technologies